One of the extremely useful tools within the Swing Toolkit uh, is the, our Symmetry Drawing Tool. And you see that is right here, this, this equals icon. I could either click that or simply go to the Drawing Tools and go down to Symmetry. Uh, now to use that, it's, it's simply a matter of drawing it from point where you want point A to be and where you want point C to be. As you can see, it I can just simply adjust this how I want, wherever I want point A to be, and it will automatically find uh, point B in the middle, Pro take this measurement from A to B and project it from point C uh, and output these levels. Uh, you can see there's a one-to-one, -one, which is the 100%, uh, and then there's these additional uh, Fibonacci levels right here. Now the angle of this is, is the same uh, as far as time and price from A to B and C uh, continue down to D. This is all equal in time and price. Now um, this is very customizable as far as what levels get outputted here. Uh, you simply go into the properties. I can either right click on it and go to properties or simply double click the line itself. And from in here, uh, I will go over some of the, uh, some of the parameters here. Uh, you can see here, snap to bars. As you saw, I was, when I was dragging this around, it was snapping to the highs and the lows of the bars. But if I uncheck that option, I can now just kind of place this wherever I want. Um, and you see it's adjusting point B wherever uh, appropriate. I'll go back in and turn that back on. Most of the time you'll, you'll, you'll want that to be uh, enabled there. Um, now, as I mentioned, you can adjust these price levels, the ones that are outputted here. It comes default with, with five outputted already, but as you can see, you can simply add, add or remove the existing ones. You can change their color. You can change the, the, the line appearance how these le levels appear. Um, I'm going to move this over so I can show both at the same time here. Now, as, as you saw, I, I, could, I could add or remove uh, these here. You can also just temporarily disable them by changing the visibility. For example, I can hit, hit that uh, on, the, on the 618, which as an aside note, I like for the 618 and the 1618, anything that, that has to do with the golden ratio, I, I, like, the, I like the color gold. It helps, uh, you know, kind of stand out for me. I hit OK. I can hit Apply, and you see the 618 disappeared because I, I disabled its visibility there. Um, now, the way that these levels appear is, is very adjustable as well. Uh, AB time means that this is simply the width, the amount of time from A to B. So this, the amount of bars that A to B is, is projected from from D onward and that's kind of angled down based on the time and price of of a and b as well um, a block simply is a block from point c over to, to point d and it kind of just a, just a block uh, uh, right right there as you can see or if you're used to an intro seven tools this is the way it outputted before where it was just basically centered on this on this line that's imaginary line is kind of continuing down uh, centered centered like that now you can also extend the lines left and right. Obviously, it's pretty straightforward. Extend it to the right, extend it to the left, or, or both. And that applies to no matter how you have that, that appearing. Uh, the labels, also pretty, pretty straightforward. If you want them to be on the right or the left uh, of, of the line there, the, the, the alignment. Uh, so, so, so the percentage itself. Now, you can turn this off. So if you set the colors, to something that you recognize, like I, like for example, I always know that yellow. I know it's the six, the sixty one point eight. I know that this one down here, it's below the hundred percent level, so I know that's the one six one eight. So you can adjust their their appearances to something that makes sense to you, so you will always know what it is when you see it. Um, and so you can simplify the output by disabling some of these levels, if, uh, these labels, if you'd like, uh, so that you can have these options. If you'd like the price, the actual price that, that these levels are, you can add that to the to the label. Um, now you can see here you have the A, B retrace to C, and you have that percentage right there. Now you can make that appear on the C label as well if you want. Again, just depending on how you like the appearance, or just completely disable that if you'd like. Uh, put it back on the line. Now this is the appearance of the A, B. And the CD, these these blue lines, you can adjust their appearance as well. 
the the size of these uh, labels. You can make everything larger or smaller if you'd like. Um, now, one of the also really useful uh, tools uh, or features of, of this is, is built, ability to add a pitchfork to these points. So if you're familiar with the Andrews pitchfork, um, you can see here, uh, this is just the modified shift, the shift, and then the standard uh, pitchfork uh, types. Now, uh, the, the actual types of the pitchfork is a little bit out of the scope of, of this, um, this video, but uh, you, can, you can even have more than one at the same time if you'd like. Uh, and you can see that there's also these levels that you can adjust. Um, you can see it comes defaulted to just three levels, 0, 50, and 100. But of course you can add, if you want to add, say, you know, 200%. Uh, and that added this 200% line down here. Now if you want to go the other direction, you could say, I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to say, you know, negative 100% um, to, to go the other direction. <coughs> Excuse me. I could change the color, change the, change the, um, the appearance, the thickness, etc. So that's, so now I just added this negative 100 line there. And that gets applied to all of the, uh, the pitchforks that get drawn right there. I'll go ahead and uh, disable uh, those that I added and um, show you one other feature. So as you see that this is this can be modified very quickly uh, and, and the, um, the, uh, the pitchfork adjusts as you adjust these points as you can see. Now if I had a bunch more levels it would be it would be adjusting all of them all of them that way. Uh, now this final feature is something that's proprietary to this, uh, to our tool set. This is something that's based off of, um, you know, my own knowledge of Fibonacci. And this is a, a potential reversal area based on the points that you've given here. You can have it output a, uh, a potential reversal area here. And you can have it at either output a zone like this and, um, and have it uh, output like a shaded area that, that uh, is just an area to look out for as potential support or resistance, or you can have it output as, as a bracket, as you can see here uh, at point C. This is a uh, just the same that same price range, but just a little less intrusive as far as outputting on the chart itself. Uh, if it, if you do have the 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 zone there, you can set the opacity of this shaded area. Now this will be either green or red depending on uh, if it's if it's support or resistance uh, but again it's it's looking at the you know, the points that you've defined it's using Fibonacci and it's it's uh, it, it's determining and calculating a potential uh, reversal area down here now that's something uh, that you know of course you can disable if it's if it kind of gets in your way or just kind of adds more clutter but uh, it's something to check out. I, I, I'm really proud of it. I think it's a really cool, unique feature that uh, you won't see anywhere else. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, please email me at daniel at updown.com. That's U-P-P-D-N-N.com. And best success in your trading. Actually, one last thing. Be, it's important that, that, you know, being that there's a lot of features that you can adjust here, like these levels, uh, the, the Fibonacci levels there, or these, these pitchfork levels, uh, to know, just, just like with any other built-in drawing tool within NinjaTrader, just note that if you make a bunch of changes and you set up a bunch of levels and you, you define it the way you want, and then you simply uh, delete that drawing tool and then draw a new one, it's going to revert back to default. So if you'd spend a lot of time and set up those levels, be sure to set up a template here and, 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 and save it either as, as just simply default or something um, you can set up your own defaults. This is just, that's just a built-in NinjaTrader feature, but I just want to add that reminder uh, because I know that it can be a lot of work setting up these levels and getting it looking exactly the way you want it uh, to, to find that they all just kind of disappear as you draw a, a second uh, drawing tool. Uh, okay, well, that's all. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me, and uh, I'll, I'll see you uh, see you later.